Mmm, you know what sounds good right now? Fresh batch of uh, corn on the cob. I love me some corn, a little bit of a uh, little bit of taters on the side. But uh, you know, as you all know, that's not my job. I'm not a tater eating country boy like some people, but I am a corn on the cob snacker. And uh, I expect you all to refer to me as such in the comments from here on out as Mr. Supreme Overlord Corn on the Cob Snacker. How's it going, guys? My name is Swan Gamer, and welcome to me. This looks interesting. I'll be honest. There's a service that some YouTubers can use to, in order for uh, developers to supply them with their games for free, so that you know it's a win-win situation. You know, you give their game a little bit of exposure. You see what you think about it. Maybe your, your subscribers will go and buy it. Who knows? So a developer was nice enough. I requested to play this game. Uh, gave me a copy. I don't know if this is a full version or not. Just saying as a disclaimer. So let's just do a new game. I really don't know what it's about. It just looked cool. I liked the <laughs> I liked the screenshots and uh, my friend Mike started playing it um, I haven't watched his video yet just so that I wouldn't spoil it for myself But I will uh, go back and do that and as always um, his link as well as Rifty and Umbavilles are in the description I'm uh, including them in the descriptions from now on. Wow. What the the coin is running. What the freak? A WSD mouse look around. This looks cool. Frame rate a little choppy, but it's cool looking. Can I jump? What's up, bruh? I don't know if this is like a linear story type deal. I can't run through the maze, but here's a bunch of corn. As so, you know, not uh, false advertising or anything. Can I go to the dock? Are there any secrets I can uncover? I guess not. All right. Well, you just tater eating my potato gravy biscuits, and I'm going to go ahead and maze my corn over here. Let me know in the comments if you know what that means i don't know what the premise for this game is like i said but i think it's got some creepy vibes i am coming to eat you you better run i'm crazy what does that mean water water's up it's raining sure i'm horrible at charades I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean oh they're arrows the house is that way what is this when pointing a hand icon for his left click to, to interact open door panel i need i put my hand there i need dna circular slot key and a hand what <laughs> What is going on? Now, I I think this might be actually like a, uh, a longer game, so I'm just going to record for a little bit. I might make this not an uncut series, but a more of a let's play type series uh, video. And if you guys like it, uh, let me know by liking the video and I will do more. What is this? Oh, duh. It's called maze. Am I stupid? It's a giant maze. Hello. I mean, it's a maze of corn, but it's a ma it's a corn maze. It's a maze maze. Okay. Person Q does absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's funny. I must have pushed Q by accident. Finally, a game that doesn't like force you to walk everywhere. That's super irritating. All right. We have come to a point of interest, it appears. There's a giant house over there. That's kind of creepy. What is this? An English muffin. You did a great job picking that item up. New path has opened to you. Wait, what? Hard as granite, this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption despite how much you try. All you've done is given yourself a headache. A note lazily scribbled includes a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes, <laughs> notes to the reader to mind the boxes and also says, open the big door and will probably say hello. Mmm, mysteries and clues. Okay, I understand. Mind the boxes. How do I punch? Is there a punch button? I don't think so. But this did say a new path has opened up for me, so maybe I can go around. Just open the big door and we will meet. Who am I gonna meet? I'm scared. Okay, so that's the door that we found that we couldn't open yet. That's Mr. Bighead. Hello, Mr. Bighead. You have a very nice egg-shaped body. He's on that Long John diet, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Man, that guy looks like he's never eaten a cop of corn in his life. Okay, so this is the other side. So this is just pointless. I don't know what the boxes are for. They literally look like Nike shoes boxes. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's the first thing that came to mind. All right, let's take, let's check out this house. I'm assuming I'm going to use this to bludgeon someone's head in to death until all of their brains spew out of their skull in a horrific, violent fashion. Let me go over here first. Hello. I probably shouldn't be exploring like this. Maybe I should just go straight to the house. Oh, open chicken coop door. Hello. I'm hungry for some protein. The, co the corn on the cob is not working for me. Aha! A key. Yes, indeed. All right, let's keep it going. We're making good progress, I think. Oh, so we were supposed to explore first. Look at me. I already got the key. Okay. Are you guys proud of me? I'm proud of myself. Because normally I'm very stupid when it comes to this stuff. An invoice for a commissioned wooden statue costs in the hundreds of thousands. Items on the list include chopping down a large oak tree, carved statue out of oak tree, and hospital bills, injuries sustained, chopping down oak tree. <laughs> so maybe that statue outside is made out of oak? I like how the items are glowing and I want to find shit in the dark. That's pleasant. What is this thing? Sausage grinder. Something is jammed inside. Something is jammed. It's probably a sausage. Someone probably put their sausage in there. 
Oh, corn oil, maybe. I have a bunch of stuff and nothing can be put inside the sausage jammer. No, the sausage grinder that is jammed. <laughs> Jesus. I have dyslexic or something. All right, well, I have oil here. I have to get a little frisky. Bathtub plug. I have so many items. I like this kind of. It's like an. In it's pretty interesting. Aha! I plugged the sink. Oh, poured rancid corn oil in the sink. This smells worse than it <laughs> than imagined. What was the point of that, though? And maybe I can soak my English muffin in it and eat it. Oh, no, never mind. Ah, uh, uh, anything here? Press C to crouch and C again not to crouch. You can do this forever. That's exactly what I intend on doing. Secret door, making it much less secret. I see. Aha! I'm a genius! Oh god, this is getting creepy. What if I find some dead bodies down here or something? Hello? A fuse box. It's missing a fuse. We gotta get the fuse, boys and girls. I, this is interesting. I have a couple of different puzzles going. I think I'm supposed to meet some kind of person here. Oh, and here's this. So I can open to the outside! What up, man? Okay, sorry. Let me go upstairs and see if there's anything up here I can use. Oh. Bobby pin. I wonder if this can be used on the fuse box. Or maybe this will be used to get the meat grinder unplugged. That's possible. Ooh, crate. Right? I don't know what the point of that is. What's the point of this? I don't know why I put the crate right there. It just told me to. <laughs> I'll just get out of here, see? Can I unplug this? No, I cannot. But I could probably go to the basement fuse box. That's kind of, that's very suspicious. I don't know why the basement would be only accessible via secret door. No, I can't. I can't use the bobby pin on that. How many times pressing Q still does nothing? I'm not trying to push Q. What is this? Mediocre rock. This is a rock you found near an owl house. I don't know why you have it. It is absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chaunacy. Hello, Chaunacy the rock. I'm very pleased to meet you. I'm trying to think what we can do, guys. Should we go back back? Like, all the way back to where we were? Ooh. Oh, I'm supposed to chop this, probably? Broken shovel handle. Uh, well, guys, we're back at the beginning, and I don't think there's a single thing that we need. Oh. Door drove over with broken shovel handle. How was I supposed to know I was supposed to do that? Seriously? Oh, great. All right, so I just unlocked a new part of the house. What is this, the attic? I have entered the dojo. Hello, creepy elf creature. I am very happy to meet you. You can't always judge people by appearances. You know what I mean? A mallet. Aha. Uh -huh. Item. Oh, okay. So I need to use the mallet maybe to get the nail out. I know exactly where that is. Much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings, sentient corn stalks, and why do we do this? <laughs> I'm gonna beat my meat with this mallet right here. <gasps> really? Oh, shoot. You know, I really thought I was onto something. I was kind of wondering how that would work. Can I just hit this is really hard? That's what I want to do. I'm too much of a sissy to beat my meat with it like I said I was going to. I'm not a man of my word, obviously. I'm curious as to what the corn grease is for. I have no clue. Or even what the premise for the story even is. Like, where am I and why? Oh, shit, I'm so stupid. What is this? Nail clippers. Oh, maybe, maybe I can get the nail out with these. Very, very dumb. I did not realize I could open that cabinet. All right. Hello, can I extract you? Yes, indeed, I can. Now I'm on a lead. Now I freaking know what I'm supposed to do somewhat. I don't know why. Again, I want to reiterate that. No clue what I'm doing, but I know what I need to do. Purpose? I don't have one. Kind of like in my real life. Uh, shkadoosh. What? Oh, for a con good conductor of electricity, possibly as a fuse, you are very strange. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm very dumb. I, I'm glad this game kind of baby spoon feeds you because that's exactly what I need in these types of games. Aha. Power restored to farmhouse. It is slightly less dark than it was before. Amazing. I'm so glad that happened. Um, I'm literally getting tingles a little bit. What is that noise? Getting the freak up out of there. That's really creepy. Oh. CD player. Open CD. Good for you. New path has opened up to you. The barn and silo. Wait, what? The barn and silo? I don't understand. I have so many questions. What am I supposed to be doing? Okay, a new path is open. Let's go see if we can find it. I don't know that there's anything else we can do here. Oh, there's the barn and silo. I see it. I am holding the shift key to sprint. What are you talking about? Yeah, this is definitely new. Okay. Old CD labels faded, pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created. This print is notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making even the greatest of sympathies sound like something that a concussed elephant would make while stumbling around a music shop. Excellent. That's the type of music I'm into. Okay. New area unlocked. More barns. More haystacks. More corn. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow 
A few species are circled in red pen wall. No, no, no. Appears in many places in the entire book. In blue pen. Very thorough analysis. Uh, not sure what the uh, point of that was. I was gonna say objective, but that would have been too wordy and awkward if I didn't say it. But I felt like you guys should know that I was going to say it. All right, hello. Oh, damn, I thought this was a shotgun at first. I was about to be very happy and excited. Oh, where's my friends? Here's a bodybuilder. <laughs> Get pumped. All right, I have a broom. Not entirely sure why. But I have one. This broom is haunted. It will not affect your adventure in any way as the ghost is currently away on business. <laughs> oh, here's the silo. Ooh. Oh, uh, bobby pin. Hello. Yes. Oh, I'm so smart. Hell yeah. Unlocked padlock. Hello. Open sesame. Hell yeah. Sweepy, sweepy. Eggs and creepy. Clear the pile of kernels with the broom. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take those pliers and I'm gonna pull my tooth out. I took an old telescope. I don't know where I put that. I don't think I want to know. Manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low hanging trees. <laughs> Possibly because the lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. A sausage grinder. Hello. It tells you exactly what you need to do. <laughs> Stop pressing. I'm not. I'm it's trying to make me go insane, guys. I'm not pushing Q. Very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head, as you do not have the earned right. <laughs> the inner tag wrote his name Fernando. Mm. Oh, Fernando. What happened to you, Fernando? Oh, God. Why are all these pliers inside of his body? That's morbid. Can I take his little hand? Gloved a severed hand. A severed hand perfectly preserved the glove in case it could become in handy. <laughs> if you could give yourself a hand... <laughs> and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended, not the second. All right, obviously I have to put this in the grease so that I can get the glove. So I have the pliers for the sausage grinder and I have this for my for my soup that I have uh, sitting in the sink at home. So that's excellent. I think I've gotten everything. Goodbye, Fernando. Thank you for your hard work and service. You will not be forgotten. <laughs> I love his hair. This game is charming. I gotta say, even though there's no characters or dialogue yet, you already know what time it is. We're using our pliers on this guy. Uh, huzzah. Huzzah. Hold warp key fob out of the sausage grinder. Not an ideal place for it. <laughs> uh, what? It'd be uh, useful if you could flatten it back to its original shape. Hell yeah. I got the mallet. We're gonna go upstairs to that bench. That's what the shape was. I thought this, the shape for the key fob was the, uh, the nail. Key fob down mallet out and bam back to its original side what up key fob has been smashed good and flat all right now what do i need it for oh it has dna on it guys i wonder if this is to unlock the one section of the door as well as getting the glove off so i can use the hand for the handprint Ooh, we are figuring this ish out fam oh yeah see i told you we take the hand of fernando Fernando. I like how his hand is perfectly preserved, but the rest of his body is bones. Once you manage to tear away from giving yourself an unending stream of high fives with this hand, you may want to find an actual use for it. It's not to start another round of high fives. Okay, I bet you these two things are keys. Maybe the CD is... I, I still don't understand the English muffin thing. Let's go back to the door. Maybe we have everything to unlock it. I don't know if the CD is actually part of the key or not, but I know it had a DNA symbol and I know it had a handprint. Oh, it is a cer It is for the CD. Hell yeah. Oh, oh here we go. We're gonna unlock it. Get it. Started playing the music, huh? Hey! 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 <laughs> what? You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. What? <coughs> a riddle? A doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What <laughs> animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm riddle president today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Why is he oh, president right, every time? I've actually been, been a bit unclear him. on the election. Oh, we should be asking him that. <clears throat> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, 25 get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I Jim? <laughs> I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's <laughs> right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. Alright. Well, thanks guys, Jim. 
Bill, whatever your names are, I'm leaving. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. <laughs> He's so cute, dude. I love this. Okay. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment, moron. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought <laughs> on good pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob. Bob is much nicer than Ted. Ate a stale pellet. I'm eating more corn pellets. What? What am I supposed to be doing? The elevator begins to move. All right. I'm glad I could eat their corn pellets for them. I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys want to see more, if you like this style of video every once in a while, I know it's kind of a departure from my more heavily edited stuff. But if you like these longer videos that you can kind of just sit and relax and watch, go ahead and let me know in the comments and by leaving a like, I really appreciate it. But until then, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see your beautiful faces in the next one. Goodbye.